So it seems that there are some opportunities on the table. Some profits might come our way if we focus on the right events, on the right string of events, let's say, because in the next two weeks, how you buy and how you sell will be very important. So let me walk you through what is happening in the next two weeks, not only on Aaron, but in the Aaron ecosystem and how you can profit. I will share with you my strategy because, yeah, we are just a few people, so it wouldn't make any difference. And if you are happy, I'm happy. This is kind of like a relationship. The first thing which you need to focus on and we need not to forget is Cantina Real. Because as you probably heard, and if you didn't, you can find the link in the description to the podcast I had with Daniel and Radu. At the end of this month, the game release is coming. It is the actual game where you can have actual rewards. And with the game, probably a lot of other things are coming as well because they talked about marketplace, about lending protocols. And usually these events are, let's say, predicted by a big pump. Now, I checked the Cantina Royale's chart and today we are going down. But as you can see, we kind of bottomed out. And if this turns around, the chart will also suggest that we might go up. And this will be some kind of a double bottom. Now, why this would happen? Well, it is obvious. When people know that there will be a big release or an announcement is coming up, people start to buy tokens because they know that just before the release, the token price will peak. That is when people are following in because they see that, okay, they are launching and we need to buy CRT tokens because we either want to uh, participate in the game or we want to profit from it. So either way, whichever you want to do, it is a good time to buy in. It is a good time to start some kind of a strategy and be careful. This is not a bull market. So probably it will not go to the all time high to the 0.3. However, it might bring some serious profits, profits which you don't usually do or make in a bear market. So uh, I will come back next week with another video about Cantina Real. Let's see if we can find out until then. I'm looking at their Twitter page because I'm eagerly waiting from them to tweet something to see whether it is a confirmation of what they said in the podcast or not. But since they uh, announced it, let's say, I am pretty confident about this. So I'm holding one Cantina Reale tokens because in these cases, usually the price goes up. Let's move forward. The next one, as you probably know, is Aaron, but not only about XJ because a couple of other things are also happening which might help the community. One of them is this weekend and it is in Germany. Now, probably you know about Istar Vision. They are the uh, first partners, let's say, of Aaron. They are one of the most famous uh, staking agencies. They are holding an Aaron community event on 22nd of October. And that is two days away or three days away. Now, I don't want to create conspiracies, but there are some signs that would tell me that people will start to buy Aaron. Probably you don't know, but Istar Vision has another project, another a company, if you will, and that is Entity. Now, what is interesting about Entity is there is a project with a question mark, which is to be announced. And as you can see, it is Entity Launchpad. This is a new launchpad on the Aaron ecosystem. And probably they will also require people to stake Aaron. Now, I don't know anything about their launchpad. I just saw on their site and I was thinking that, yeah, it's worth mentioning. It is obviously a very good motivation for people to buy and stake Aaron because probably one of the criteria to participate in their launchpad will be to have Aaron staked and maybe Aaron staked with Star Vision. I don't know. I haven't talked about this with them, so I don't have any information. Probably they will do some announcements and when they do, then I will make another video. But this is very interesting to see. As you can see, more and more launchpads are appearing on the Aaron ecosystem. And who knows, maybe we'll have one where the max is also taken in consideration. Now let's move forward and discuss about the next two probable causes why Aaron will pump. If I go here and I switch to uh, eGold, as you can see here, I highlighted the Maiar Launchpad projects. Obviously, Ethereum was a bigger pump because the market was also in a better stage. And the CRT token, we had more or less 50% from the announcement to the uh, price discovery. And with Ash token, we don't know yet. The key ICs are still running this week. Therefore, people didn't get the message that, yes, you are approved. You can buy uh, the lottery tickets because usually people start to buy eGold when they know how much money you need or how much Aaron they need to buy the lottery tickets for the Launchpad project. So I am eagerly waiting for Aaron to start to pump. We need to see some buy-ins. I think people will start buying, but obviously none of these, what I said, is financial advice. So you should just uh, yeah, decide for yourself. 
you know what I mean. Let's move forward because I have another indication which you already obviously know and that is the X-Day Paris. Uh, obviously there will be some very big announcements since uh, there will be two ministers, one from Romania, Minister of Research and the Minister of Digital Research and Telecommunication of France from France will also join the conference. I expect uh, Maillard card and Max Economy and maybe CBDCs, I don't know. I am just uh, making conspiracy theories here, so don't take after me. But I do hope that there will be some serious announcements and they will just make people want to buy Elrond. I think people will just FOMO in. So these are very important. And if you see that a coin is pumping and it went up 50, 100%, which would be a miracle in this uh, market, all you need to do is take back your capital. Okay, not financial advice, it's just a common sense. If you invest something and you can take back your capital by also leaving a good chunk of the investments on the table, that is a very good practice to make sure that you're safe. Because the best way to help a project is that you help yourself, you make sure that your financial stability is assured, and therefore you will be able to buy in when everything is going down and that is how you have the project. Hope you like this content. I want to make a live and I don't know when. So leave in the comments when you want me to, to have a live, when you are available, which day, which part of the day, because I really think it is time to have some lives and discuss about Aaron and what is happening with the market. And I also want to restart uh, to do trading analysis videos on a certain altcoins. So if you have a favorite one and you want to know where are the buy zones and the sell zones, drop it in the comment section and I'm happy to uh, come up with my two cents, which is obviously not financial advice. I just can't, can't say this enough. Some people think that whatever I say, uh, that is how it will happen. That is not the case, but I am happy to share what I learned. Until now, take care.